Welcome to Glorious Glutes, ladies. So for today's workout, it will be more of a, it's a total body but mostly glute focus, so more of a bumper builder style. What you'll need is a mat. Uh, you're also going to need your mini band and you can grab dumbbells, uh, but this workout, feel free to do it just body weight as well using your mini band. Um, what I'm going to do is I'll tell you what we're doing. Um, then we're going to set a timer for 15 minutes, do as many reps as pretty or as many rounds as pretty for 15 minutes. And then I have a pretty kick-ass one-minute finisher. So the moves are going to be banded squats with kickbacks. So we're going to do uh, 10 per leg. So I'll show you what that is in a second. We're going to do push-ups with plank lifts, like a leg plank lift. Then we're going to do lunge with a twist. So we're going to do 10 per side, and then we're going to finish with plank jacks. Now we can also, um, if you want to challenge yourself, you can do plank jacks with a band, um, and those will be 30. So let me show you what each exercise looks like. So starting with banded squats with the kickback. So what I want you to do is the band goes just under your knees. We're going to squat, kick. Squat, kick, that's one. This is two, this is three. So essentially you're gonna end up doing 10 each leg. You're gonna have a massive glute on fire feeling. Then we're doing push-ups with the leg lifts. So push-ups with leg lift. Now we're gonna do for a total of 10. If you wanna challenge yourself and end up doing 10 each leg, that'll be 20 push-ups with 10 leg lifts each leg. That's cool too. I'm going to just do 10 total. <laughs> so we're getting into a push-up style. Now I'll show you what the move looks like, and then I'll show you how to regress it. So we're going to push up. That's one, two. Now you can also do it on your knees. While doing it on your knees, I want you all the way down. And no matter what in your push-ups, I want your elbows in, OK? So all the way down, you're going to come up. There we go. Sorry. Just let us set. So this works as well for a total of 10. Then we're doing a lunge with a twist. Now you can grab a dumbbell. I'll show you what it looks like without first. But we're going to do a lunge. So you're going to lunge forward. And you're going to twist facing the side that the leg is out. So I'm going to have my lunge and I'm going to twist. Okay. Then I'm going to lunge. And twist. Now, if you're holding a dumbbell, you would hold it goblet style. Okay, so hold it to your chest. Okay, don't hold it out here. Hold it here, okay, for your gravity. We're gonna lunge forward, twist. That's one, that's two. So this is 10 each leg. Then we're gonna do plank jacks. Now, plank jacks, you get into a plank position. So into a high plank position, okay, so you're not like this and you're not like this, okay, nice solid spine, you're engaging everything, so everything's on, your abs are all fired up, your spine is good to go, and we're jumping out, okay, times three. Now, if you're doing it with the band to challenge yourself, the band would go just at where your shins are, okay, so... For the first round, I'm going to do it body weight, and then I'll show you what it is to do with a weight. Um, but really, you do what feels good to you. Make sure you have water, good tunes, ready to rock and roll this, and uh, let's get started. So, what's important is that you rest when you're needing it, because that's what it's about, resting when we need to. So I've got the timer set, 15 minutes. Um, and yeah, let's just rock this. Here we go. Starting with banded squats with the kickback. Here we go. Times 10 each leg here. Squat. Nine, 
Sit back in your heels. Ten. All right. Ooh, fire, fire. Push up with plank lifts. Total of ten. So five lifts each side. So elbows in, straight leg up. Here we go. Keep elbows in, okay? Here we go. Awesome. Getting right into lunges with a twist. Ten each side. So forward lunge. One. Two. Ten more. Two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, Woo. ten. All right, getting into Plank jacks, times 30. So we're just really in a nice plank, jumping out sideways. If that is challenging for you, hold the plank for as long as you can hold it. Here we go. Then we rest. That's 20. workout next week it may be easier it may be the same or it may be harder that doesn't mean if it's harder or the same that you're not working hard enough okay it's really about honoring where you are today in this moment in this body because life man <laughs> sometimes we have days where we're stronger other days things seem harder and that's normal okay so I don't believe in the no pain, no gain. I really hope that you don't believe that as well. How about we just be in our bodies and we honor our bodies for the movement we're able to do today, okay? Because this is a gift. <sighs> now, we're gonna get ready to start real soon. If you feel like you need more time to recover, that is cool, you jump in when you're ready. So I'm gonna start in like three seconds. So, we're getting ready for the bands, the squats, I'll show you from the side. I want you sitting in your heels, not up on your toes, okay, ready? So 10 each leg. Eight. Oh, nine. 
burn. <sighs> Jen. Okay, getting right into push-ups with the leg lifts. If I can get this off. <sighs> push up with leg lifts. Here we go. Whew. Elbows in, ladies. Nice spines. Ready? goblet style to you. Center of gravity. Ten each side. Here we go. Two. Don't forget to breathe. ladies. jack with a band. It's for 30. All right. Right around the shins. Feels good. That's good to move. Okay. There we go. 30. Nice deep breaths. Fill in those, fill it all in. Fill in your body. All the way down to your stomach. Nice breathe. Steady that breathing. Okay, we're going to start in about 20 seconds. I'm thinking this will probably be the last round. All right, so let's get started with the banded squat side kicks. 10 each leg, sit in those heels. Let's own it, okay? I need you to help me finish this. Here we go. One, two, here's three. Eight. Oh my goodness. Nine. Ten. All right. Getting ready for the push up leg lifts. I forgot to mention, ladies, if it's too challenging to do the leg lifts, just focus on the push ups, okay? Or if 
you want to just focus on legless and stay in a high plank and legless, that's cool too. This is your workout. Okay, total of 10. Here we go. Keep everything nice and tight. No shame in my game. Okay, here we go. We're getting ready to lunge with a twist. Total of 10. A total of 10 each side. Yeah, so 20. Whatever your mind needs to trick it. Here we go. Here, I should show you from this side. Ten. Ten more. Whew. Here we go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Here's 10. All right, last of the plank jacks. Your option, band or no band, okay? So, last 30, oops, a little bit lower than that. Last 30. Again, resting when you feel like you need it. I'm just gonna catch my breath a few seconds to totally finish this hard. Last 30, let me get you recover, ready? Fifteen, fifteen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, ten more. Okay. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh my goodness. All right, ladies. Let's rest for at least a good, at least a good minute. I'm even going to suggest a little bit longer because our finisher is going to require us to have a lot of energy. So I think we have another minute here on this timer and then I'll give us a little bit more because we're going to finish with one minute of burpees. Now burpees of whatever burpees are good to you. If you like doing burpees where your chest does not go down with the full push up, that's totally sweet. That's your type of burpee. What I want to make sure is that you don't just throw your whole spine down. Okay, we're not going for how many burpees you can do in a minute. Although I do want you to count them because next week when you redo this workout, you want to see if you can get close to the same number, either the same, close to or pass it. It's just for information purposes. So I will show you what burpees look like to me. And this timer is going to go off any minute. So timer is off Good. for a minute. Okay. Now what I want to make sure is when you're doing your burpees, you're not like flailing yourself to like drop your spine and let it all fall and then you pry yourself up and your back breaks. We're not going for that, okay? We're not in a big class where everybody's watching you. This is actually just you hanging out with me in a totally non-judgmental way and there's nothing but love and respect here, okay? So you're totally killing it. I respect that. I love that about you. So what you're going to do 
is you're just gonna totally own it at a pace and in a form that feels good to you, okay? So, people who have not done burpees, because I do, do know that these, that you ladies exist and there's no shame in that, I will teach you. You can start with a small jump, then what we do is we put our hands on the ground, you can walk out or jump it. Now, this could be a burpee, okay? Or you can do the full version, which would be the extra push-up. So you could jump, hands down. You can jump back, just make sure your spine doesn't jump. Come down, push up, and up, okay? Now, there is no shame in starting off strong, and you will get tired because it's a minute of burpees and having to walk them out. Or what I want to see you do is we're pushing hard enough that it feels good to your body where you need to rest, okay? This is called rest-based training. It's a metabolic effect. It's a term used by Jade Teta. And basically all that big linguistic stuff means is that you're pushing hard enough that your body is using the muscles it has, that when you actually need to stop and rest because it's too hard to keep up at that pace, you give yourself even those 10, 15 seconds of rest will recruit even more muscle. So just think of it as like little soldiers who are doing what they need to do. You make them stop because you need a rest. It's going to recruit even more, okay? So your workout is even more effective, okay? so. We push hard to rest hard, all while, all while honoring our body, okay? So, I'm going to do what feels good to me today in push-ups. You do what feels good to you today in push-ups. I do want you to count them in your head, or out loud, whatever. And then when we're done this, I want you to write it down on your print sheet. Write it down, okay? It's just for you. So it's a little fun game for you, okay? So... Enough chit-chatting because we got a minute to go here. Burpees. I really hope you have good music playing. Here we go. Starting now. We got about 10 seconds. Make sure you, you nourish your body today with food that you like and that likes you. Make sure you stay hydrated. Get out and get some sunshine. Feed your body, feed your mind, feed that glow.